Hello, my name is uh, Davide Capodanno. I'm a program committee member of uh, Euro PCR uh, this year uh, in uh, Paris. And uh, this year, for the first uh, time, we had a new upset competition, which is called uh, PCR's Got Talent. And uh, we actually have here uh, the winner of uh, PCR's Got Talent, Dr. Christopher Cook. Hello. So Hi. welcome Thank and you. congratulations for uh, your uh, award. Can you tell uh, our viewers something about uh, the format? Uh, how is this competition, how it is different uh, compared with other upset sessions? Of course. Well, this was completely different to any other abstract process I've ever been through. Um, we were selected as the top 24 abstracts of those submitted. And we started our first round, which was a three minute, uh, very condensed uh, session, no slides, uh, completely out of all of our comfort zones. Uh, and we had to pitch our uh, study. Why, why did we do the study? How did we do it? Why was it important? And, and what does it add? Um, and from that round, uh, we would, eight of us were then selected. Um, now we had the benefit of uh, some slides, but we also had professional coaching uh, from Mr. Alan Spencer, who taught us the limitations of slides and uh, the importance of clarity. And from that round, uh, we had another four of us selected and we presented uh, all four of us today. And I'm delighted to have been selected as the winner from that round. Yeah, and you did a, really a great job because I understand it's very, very difficult to, to act in front of uh, an important jury of uh, key opinion leaders that challenged you with questions, etc. You were absolutely great. What was the abstract about? So in, a, in, in essence, the abstract looked at the real world clinical problem of pressure wide drift mm -hmm. and its effect on stenosis misclassification and I did a comparison between IFR and whole cycle PDPA, uh, which demonstrated that IFR is far more robust in, uh, in that setting. So and this session was important to demonstrate the concept that the contents are important when you deliver an abstract speech, but also the behavior, your presentation uh, skills. What were the main challenges that you find in this kind of a new format? So I think the challenges were to uh, make sure that clarity was the main issue here and to have a succinct message at the end of the talk because we love data as scientists and we're at a scientific congress. Uh, so the temptation is to show as much data as you can on the slides, but our coaching sessions uh, revealed that that sometimes can detract. Um, so the real challenge was distilling down uh, what we want to say and saying it clearly um, so that the audience can understand. But on the other way around, there are challenges, but there are also many opportunities when uh, you have no backup from slides or notes and you are uh, not behind the podium. Can you share with us uh, your ideas about it? Wow, I mean, that first round was nothing like anything any of us had done before as the candidates we were all discussing were very excited. Um, the lack of slides really focused all of our attentions and made us really revisit what question we were asking and, uh, and you know, the field that we are uh, studying. So it really made sure that we uh, were aware of our own field, aware of our own projects, uh, because you can't turn around and look at the data uh, if, if it escapes you. You have to have it inside, uh, inside your own mind. So Christopher Cook uh, won uh, the award and will be faculty at uh, Euro PCR 2016. Again, congratulations and thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much. Thank you.